Tennessee Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, drier weather finally on the way, just in time for St. Medard's Day or Samidon is the Cajun pronunciation. So we'll talk about that right now. What is St. Medar? What is Samidon? or St. Medaris. I uh, have a little bit more about this also on my social media pages, but according to Cajun lore, on June 8th, if it rains, it's going to rain for 40 straight days. If it's dry, 40 days of drought. Now, tomorrow rain chances are about 20%, but I think we'll stay dry for maybe about six or seven days and showers will be back. But also, Sam Edon, patron saint for good harvest, bad weather, toothaches, brewers, vineyards, and prisoners. So a lot of folks, especially your grand, ask your grandparents or your great grandparents about it. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but tomorrow's the day on June 8th. Uh, Same and uh, back here around 400 to 500 AD. Lived a pretty long life there too uh, back in the day. So uh, tomorrow's Same Madara's day. Anyway, let's look at the big picture. Here's that upper low that's still creating some issues. We'll back it up on the satellite imagery over the last 72 hours as we watched our tropical disturbance produce the severe weather, the flooding rainfall, the flooding rainfall as expected. Severe weather was a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we thought we might see one or two isolated tornado spin ups, but that was certainly not the case. Uh, we'll show you a little bit more about that in just a bit. Now on the back side of this system, we saw storms developing last night and some storms today and didn't look like much, but you got very heavy rainfall and you can see those storms offshore right now. They are popping down in the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of cloud ground lightning. So if you have an unobstructed view to the south, you can see that lightning ongoing because these thunderstorms are topping out at about 60,000 feet. So you see the lightning offshore. I got a couple of folks that sent me some video as well. And I said this at six o'clock. Hopefully you have a chance to see that. It's kind of cool on a summer night when we don't have much clouds going on inland and you can see the lightning further offshore. Now the National Weather Service, uh, here's uh, again those uh, storms offshore. But I want to mention uh, the rest of us pretty quiet right now, the National Weather Service came in with their survey. A lot going on here, but a total of eight tornadoes now uh, with their assessments from today and yesterday. Eight tornadoes, uh, 16 in southern Louisiana with another outbreak over south and east of the Baton Rouge area. Strongest twisters locally were in Basile, Sunset and Crot Springs with winds 104, 107, 110 miles an hour. Uh, but other communities, Oak Grove was involved, Lake Arthur was involved here, Roanoke. Uh, you can get full details. I wrote a story on this at KTC.com. Also posted on our social media pages as well. So it was a rough one. And then area wide rain totals 8 to 13 inches, 14 to 15 inches as you got into uh, uh, Cameron Parish. So the models pretty much advertised we were in for trouble and we certainly saw that. And we're thinking about you if you did flood today or flooded yesterday as well. Now on the weather map as we look at the 3 kilometer NAM model maybe a renegade storm or two still developing through the overnight hours. So we're not going to discount a, a, another shower or storm developing. We have a little bit of a weak frontal boundary trying to push on through with that upper level low to the north and there still could be some storms through tomorrow morning right along the coast and southeast of Acadiana proper, but things will be moving along. We don't expect a whole lot in the way of weather during the day tomorrow. A sun and cloud mix, a slight chance of a pop up shower or storm at 20% and that might be generous and drier air continues to come in, although Oh, it's still going to be hot and going into Sunday, mostly sunny. And look at that heat index pushing up to 100. And we'll probably get it up to about maybe 94, 95 degrees with a northwest wind. Uh, we can uh, underestimate the temperatures there. We might even push the upper 90s before before a cool front gets here. Here's front number one. That kind of falls apart as we go through the next couple of days. But going into Monday, nice front moving in. And this is going to cool us off just a little bit as we head into the middle part of next next week. So overnight lows will be getting down into the 60s. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool all around. Most storms staying offshore, but a nice light show to the south. Fair skies for most of us. We'll keep rain chance at about 20% and look for that light show uh, going on right now. 75 the low tonight, 92, 93 the high tomorrow. That heat index up in the upper 90s. So back to a summer scenario. Slight rain chances tomorrow, near zero rain chances on Sunday. And then we start cooling off just a little bit, but we'll take uh, feeling pretty good for a few days with temperatures at night dropping down into 
into the mid to upper 60s before summer returns and probably stays with us for quite a while. But overall, good looking forecast ahead. Time to dry out and we'll watch uh, the Chafalaya River as well. See how that's going to play out mm -hmm. and yeah. we'll see what goes with that. Over hey, at least for ahead. at least for tomorrow with Semidar. Uh, yeah, 20% yeah. chances. 20% chance. It's been the year of water, it seems, it so seems. far. Yeah. So. It surely you has. Get a shower, and the question is, well, if you get a shower here, but there's mm -hmm. no shower there, what how, happens? Does, how does the rule mm. apply? We're not sure. Maybe it's a microsystem and it yeah, affects to that area. Very good. Yeah, we'll very see good what happens. Thanks, Rob. <laughs>